Hello everyone and welcome back to Magical World Reactions. In this video today, I'm reacting to 10 culture shocks tourist experience in Germany. Hopefully one day I'll get a chance to be a tourist and visit Germany of course. And I want to say thank you to everyone who watched my previous video. It really means a lot as some of you guys answered some of the questions that I raised in the video. So it does mean a lot you guys did that to me. But let's get right into the video for today. It's by Walters World. I've done a few reactions to this guy and I love his personality. He's such a cool dude. 10 things that would shock hey there, you, travelers. Germany. Mark here with Walters World. We're in Bomberg, Germany, on their nice little waterway here, their little Venice, as they like to call it. And Bomberg is one of my favorite cities in Germany. We love it. It definitely does Tom look Hall nice. Fantastic. And you'll be shocked how beautiful it is. And that's why we're here today to give you the 10 things that will shock you about visiting Germany. And the first thing that's going to shock you is when you get to Germany, Anything to do with a toilet is going to shock you. One, you're going to have to pay to use the toilet. If you're in the train station, it's going to be a euro to go pee. Or okay, that's quite different because I'm from the United Kingdom. Sometimes you do have to pay for some toilets, but it's kind of rare. A lot of the times, public toilets, if, you got, if you're in a train station, if you're in a shop, it normally is free. It's very, very rare you have to pay. Other business, if you're at a... If you're at a store, you might see an old lady sitting there waiting for you. You know, the toilet women. You see them like, why is there this old lady sitting at the toilet? And she has a thing out. Oh, i got to pay for it. So you oh. got to pay for the toilets. And then there's the toilet women that kind of make you go, uh, what's going on? And they give you this look. That is quite you know, weird. i got to give the money now because <laughs> otherwise they're not going to let me pee or poop ever. Okay, so that's kind of weird. Another thing that might shock okay. you is if you get into some of the German toilets, they have kind of what we call a shelf toilet. Like you poop onto a shelf and it's so you can observe your poop and make sure everything's okay i guess and the thing is this shelf is there so it gets a little stinky but also when you flush it it's like a waterfall going down and if you don't know about it and you push the flush button while you're sitting there you get a nice little spring of shocky <laughs> waterness in all your nether regions okay, okay so that is the good first thing to know shock you about germany is anything to do with the toilets now, the second thing that might shock you when you come to Germany is when we think of Germany, we think of organization, clean, everyone follows the rules and these kind of things. But when you come into a train into Germany, you come to the train station, you walk outside and you see these Aussies, these, as they call it, asocials, Aussies, or Penna, or, you know, these people the that people are you know, kind of scary. They look like they're drug dealers or drug addicts. Oh, okay, they're dogs, okay. And they're loud and they're kind of dirty and they're scary. Okay, like in the United Kingdom, you've got roadmen. Basically, some of them, but German version, I guess. And that's kind of a shock for tourists when they come, is there there are all these beggars and there are all these people outside yeah, the train station. that's just like England. Hanover or Frankfurt is horrible for it. Just realize they're not going to do anything to you. They're, they're not there to bother you. They're getting taken care of by the government. They'll leave you alone. You just leave them alone, okay? But it can be a shock for that first time you come and you walk out of the Hanover train station and there's all these people out there that are like look like beggars or drug addicts and they got their big dogs and you're like, oh my God. I'm going to die, you'll be fine, <laughs> don't worry, but we'll shock you, so be ready for it. The third thing that might shock you when you come here is a lot of people, when they think of Germany, they think, oh, I'm going to see half timber houses everywhere. I'm going to see people on later hosen. There's going to be beer halls everywhere. Everybody's drinking big beers and leader That's beer probably things. just for, like, festivals, well, you know, we look right? Here, we're here in Bomberg, and yes, we oh. do have the half-tempered houses and the beautiful architecture, and they do have they great do look beer good. here, but... That's not typical Germany. Germany is a modern country. It's a multicultural country. You have Greeks, you have Turkish <laughs> people, you have people from all over Europe and Poland living here. And you're not just going to see people in Lederhosen and you know what you imagine Germany to be from your grandpa's Yeah, that's probably just war. like special events Germany's and festivals and cool stuff land, like that. You're not going to see the half houses. Don't worry, there's the, lots of the old women. With the old big world Germany to see. The big beers. You're not going to see that all over the place, all right? Oh, yeah, so she's got the outfit that, on. A lot of people are shocked that they're in He's Berlin. He's got the giant beer. They're like, well, where's all the leader beers and beer halls? Oh, guys, that's in Bavaria. And the reason why you ever wonder why the Americans have a certain view of Germany as Bavaria is because during, after the Second World War, the U.S. was in control of the South. So our traditional ideas of Bavaria, of Germany, are Bavaria with the beer halls and the drinking and the leader beers and stuff like that. And that's what not Germany, that is not what Germany is these days. And that can shock a lot of people because, you know, they expect something different. Now, the fourth thing that might shock you when you come here, and it's a lot of Americans like to make Nazi jokes, okay? Like, oh, the Nazis, ha ha, you're a German, you're a Nazi. I mean, yeah, you, you shouldn't really be doing that in this, Germany. You know Germans do not appreciate yeah. that. I, I can they're imagine. Ashamed of their I can time imagine. During the National Socialist, the Nazis' time, and they're very embarrassed by it. They hate that it happened, all these things, and they don't find it funny. I know. 
See, that's kind of common sense. If you go into a different country, you should be respectful to the people. You shouldn't be making those type of jokes. But sometimes you do get some people who are quite offensive at, and do that to disrespect people. Personally, I would never make those type of jokes, especially in Germany, you know, like that was a long time you know, ago. You see Americans coming here, they make Nazi jokes about people or when Germans go to the U.S. They say, oh, he's a German, he's a Nazi. Yeah, I know in the U.S. we made it as a joke, but here in Germany, it's not taken as a joke. It's a very serious thing. The swastika and those flags are actually illegal here. You can't actually have those. Mein Kampf is not allowed to have here either. So you may think it's funny, but the Germans don't find it funny at all. So don't make any Nazi jokes when you're here because it's not cool, okay? So that might shock you because you're used to doing that in the U.S., not cool here. The fifth thing you might get shocked about when you come here is German service. Now the people, the Germans are great people. Like once you become friends with them, they're awesome, but it's tough to get to know them. And in the service industry, they're very professional, but you won't think they're very nice or they're like, you don't realize you have to actually ask every single question. Typical example, I was in Hanover a couple years ago. I wow. asked her, say, hey, do you have an English menu? And the waitress said, yes, we have an English menu. And then she goes away, comes back 10 minutes later and says, what would you like to eat? And I'm like, well, I need an English menu. <laughs> oh, you yes, I want an English menu. Oh, then she went and got it. Uh, it was very much, you got to follow the rules. And yeah, go you got to ask for the menu. Which for some Not, people, do you, you have it? Know Can I have it? Works, you may think it's rude, but actually it's quite professional and they will be very helpful if you ask, but you have to ask. And in terms of the people, I look at it this way. Think of it as two circles, okay? In the U.S., we, you know, you, well, you have your acquaintances and then your friends in the two circles. In the U.S., it's very easy to become an acquaintance and then kind of be a friend, but it's hard to get them to be the really good, good yeah, friend. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And so it's kind of like a dotted line on the outside. And the, the friendship is the hard line. In the U.S., well, sorry, yeah. Yeah. So in the U.S., it's the dotted line on the outside, so easy to become an acquaintance, but really hard to become a good friend. Same with the United Kingdom. In Germany, Kingdom. it's hard to become an acquaintance. That's a lot harder. But uh -oh. once you get to know them, then it is easy to become friends with them, and they'll show you around, tell you all kinds of things, meets their Oma and all these kind of great things. But just know, in terms of service, you're going to be like, man, what a bunch of jerks sometimes. <laughs> But they're not jerk people. Just think of professional and make sure when they come to order your food, you order your drink and meal right away because they ain't coming back. Okay? That might shock you. Okay? So the service might shock you a little bit when you come to Germany, but just be ready for it. Okay? And that's why you kind of tie five and six together because six are the actual people when you are here. You know, we have these kind of theories and stereotypes of Germans that they're cheap and that they're unfriendly and they're cold. But honestly, they're not. They're actually very good people. To be fair, I've never heard the cheap stereotype. I've heard a bit of the cold one. But I've never heard anyone refer to Germans as cheap. That's one thing I've never heard. Well, but the thing is, you got to get to know them. Like I talk about the circle of friendship kind of stuff. Yes, service, not the best, but it is professional. Just make sure you ask everything. The people may seem cold. Oh, that's really once nice. You get to know them, they're fantastic and super helpful. And if you're here in Bavaria, like in Bamberg or Munich, the people are the most friendly of anywhere in Germany, but there's friendly Germans that family everywhere. does look like and that a great family. Because they're not the cold hearted people you expect. They're actually very wonderful. And that can be very shocking for people that grew up thinking that Germans are these crazy, cold cold-hearted people and they're not. Now, the seventh thing that might shock you when you come to Germany is your hotel bed because there's a crack in the middle of it. You know, I kind really? of see why there's not a lot of German children because with a crack in the bed, if you're doing things, <laughs> that's come apart. I mean, we've stayed here with our kids and I've stayed with my parents and we've lost children in that crack because the beds kind of separate and boom, <laughs> Caleb is falling through the middle. One time we were in Frankfurt and my parents- Is that every and bed in the hotel would you have to ask for that bed? Because that does seem very sudden, weird. Boom, Dad's gone. <laughs> like, what the hell just happened? Look, there. Are, when you go, you get your double rooms. A lot of times, it's two single beds pushed together, and there will be a crack in the middle. And that can be a lot of surprising for people, especially if you're coming here for your honeymoon. So just, just a word of warning: be careful with the beds because that crack. I mean, you're gonna lose people, children, money, your father. I mean, these are things that have happened to us. So just be ready <laughs> for that shock of there's a crack in the bed. Okay, so. Just be ready. The eighth mm -hmm. thing that might actually shock a tourist when you come here is Germany, you go around, you see these high-speed trains, you see all this fancy electronics and cooler phones and anything we have in the U.S. And then you go, oh, you want to pay with a credit card? Oh, no, we prefer cash. Bar geld bitte, bar bitte. Oh, cash is king and credit cards are less welcome. So I think this video is slightly old, so I'm not sure if that is kind of the normal, if that's still the case right now, because... In the United Kingdom, I'm I mainly pay with credit card or I use Apple Pay. I literally rarely, rarely, rarely ever pay with cash. Only if I go to like, you know, a market, if you go to like 
a hot dog salesman. You go to one of them type places. I rarely ever use cash. So let me know if that is still true or if that's changed. They, cash is king here in Germany and you need to be ready for it. So if you want to use the, remember the toilet lady in the beginning, you got to have your coins for her. Okay. She doesn't take credit card. And here, okay, that kind of makes sense. More accepted in Germany, but still they prefer cash. So be ready for it. And if you do have a credit card, make sure you have a pin number for it as well. Cause you might need to put that in. Uh, the Germans you'll see, they'll use their cards, but they have what's called an EC card. Okay. It's, it's for their banks here. It's got a little chip in it. And so oh. they use those, okay? But yeah, most contactless. Of the time, cash is king. I lived in Germany for three years. It was not uncommon to go to Saturn, like a Best Buy kind of store, and see people buy a $3,000 computer with cash, okay? So be ready for that, okay? So make sure you have cash with you because cash is more or less king here in Germany. The ninth thing that may shock you about it or may not shock you about coming to Germany is how much they love pork. Whether it's you're here in, 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 in uh, Franken or northern To be fair, area. pork is pork really shoulder, nice. Which is fantastic. Or ham hocks or, you know, maybe... They you know, look good. They look really good. I love hocksa. Or all the sausages that are here, whether you're having currywurst in, in, in Berlin or oh. vicewurst here in Bavaria. Oh, look at that food. Okay. I'm getting hungry watching this video. All that stuff looks so good. Or Nuremberg or Bratwurst and Nuremberg. Oh. I mean, they love their sausage here. And it's all the time. So, yes, you really will. If you go to the German restaurants, you'll have your sausages and your porks and your sauerkraut and your dumplings. And they will go all out. But remember, this is a multicultural land. So Germans don't actually eat German food as often as you'd think. That's why when you go to German restaurants, sometimes you see more tourists than you do see locals. So, but they still love their pork here. So just be ready for pork, pork, and some more pork, and then have some sauerkraut to help things move along, let's say, okay? What's but I've that? I've heard which is like red cabbage because it's sweeter. And you know, that's how I keep this. Never seen that before, but it looks all right. Sugar and sweetness. And the 10th thing that might shock you about Germany Ooh, 10, is actually 10. when you see German tourists abroad, there's this stereotypical German tourist, okay? Jack Wilson that outfit. Coat, or they have this, like, vest. It's like a cat <laughs> vest with lots of pockets. I have and seen that course, before, the actually. matching accessories. Now, this is mostly just guys. Don't worry. The women are fine. But the guys, the matching accessories are sandals with socks. Not white socks, but, like, black socks or blue socks to go with those sandals. It is beautiful and you go around you're like oh my god that you got to be kidding me but you know you walk around you'll see it here but you have this typical german to be fair if it's comfortable i'm not gonna hate because a lot of people do hate on stuff like that but if, if the outfit is comfortable i have no problems with it if you're going on vacation you want to be dressed comfortably the of the vest and the socks with the sandals and maybe their backpack, it seemed like they had in kindergarten. It's pretty funny when you see it going around. You don't see it as much as you used to, but you still see it sometimes. And when you do, you're like, oh, socks and sandals. I think I have seen that mm, before. That's an interesting, shocking choice. Anyway, so those are just 10 fun things that might shock you if you do come to Germany. It is well worth it. We love it here, as you know, from our literally hundreds of videos in this country. And if you want to learn more, five things you're loving about here in Bamberg, five things you love and hate about Germany, what you should eat when you're in Bavaria, or in general Germany, or what, what sausages you should try when you're here, check us out on our website at waltersworld.com. We're also on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram, and we really love your subscriptions and your likes and your views and your comments. So if you have things that shocked you about coming to Germany, put it in the comment section below we'd really appreciate it and we hope you have a great time here in germany and bomberg it is super beautiful here i'm not gonna lie to you this is my favorite city in germany so okay it does I'll look good i like the houses nice view down the river have a great time and please feel free to click that subscribe button right down there all right <laughs> bye from bomberg so that was 10 culture shocks about germany Personally, I gotta say the most shocking one is probably the toilets, the fact that you gotta pay for every toilet. And the bed one was quite shocking as well. Like some of it is just so different to the United Kingdom, that type of stuff. And also about the credit cards as well. I don't know if they're still like that because I believe this video is a couple years old. So maybe you guys use more credit cards. Maybe you guys use contactless a lot more if you guys use Apple Pay. If not, let me know in the comment section below. But I like the fact that everyone kind of eats a lot of pork over there because pork does taste so good. And the food that, they, that this guy showed off looked really, really nice. And also the fact that he said about the fact that Germans can kind of be hard like to become acquaintance with them. And then if you get to know them, you become good friends. I kind of like that because if someone is like your friend immediately, they're also happy. You don't really know their true intentions. I feel when you kind of get to know someone and then you become friends, your friendship's a lot stronger in my opinion. But Germany definitely does seem like a cool place. Some of the things probably seem a lot more shocking to American people. I'm from the United Kingdom, so some of the stuff I kind of 
it kind of relates. But some of it was a lot different as well, like I said. So if you guys want more reaction videos to Germany, feel free to drop a like on this video and please subscribe to the channel for more reaction videos. This is Magical World Reactions. Anyway, guys, I'll see you guys later. Please subscribe for more quick reaction videos.